Hi and welcome back. As promised, Shinigami will demonstrate to us how to fold a simple origami object. So Shinigami, what are we going to create today? I hope it's not the red seal Leviathan. I must admit, I'm just a beginner in this. Of course not. I'll be teaching you the most basic folding of a rabbit. This is one example over here. Okay, that looks simple to me. Yeah, it is simple. But if you have any problems through the demonstration, do let me know. Yeah. Okay, let's get our hands dirty. Yeah, first of all, we, we have different types of uh, origami folding paper. So these are the different types that we have over here. We have the normal kind and even uh, shiny types like the golden color ones you see over here. Okay. So it depends on what you like and uh, what color you want, you can choose from there. Okay. Yeah, so for this demonstration, since you're folding a rabbit, you can decide a color which you want your rabbit to be based on this set of colors. Uh, I just choose the top one. Let's take yellow. Go ahead. Okay, so for this one, since it's a one-sided paper, so what we need to do is to place the color side downwards so that the rabbit will be that color itself you want. Okay. So the next step we need to do is actually fold a triangle by folding it upwards like, like so. So the first fold will look something like this, a triangle, with the color side on, on, on the surface itself. Okay. So the next step you need to do is actually to fold upwards on the two ends to make a square shape. So once you have done so, it will look something like this. It's a square shape with a, a line in the center. Okay. So the next thing make you need to do is, make sure you do this so that it, it does not uh, affect your folding. Turn it downwards so that the pointed areas are facing downwards. Okay. Next step you need to do is to fold the two corners inwards to make it like a kite shape. You can follow the steps which I'm doing. Uh, which sides do I fold? The open side or the closed side? Uh, the open side. Open side. All right. Okay. Yeah, the two edges. So it looks something like a kite shape like this. Hold on, huh? I'm just a beginner. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, that's right. You're doing it right. Okay. So the next step we need to do is to make like a small collar in the kite shape by folding the inside portion of it outwards, matching the edges. Follow, uh, fold along the edges, yes, am I correct. right? Yes, correct. Alright. So it will look something like a kite with a little collar over here. Okay, the reason why we fold this collar is so that we can actually open up the insides and it has the alignment. So what I need to do is just unfold it back, open it up and you will see that there's four pieces inside. Split into two pieces each side and open it up like this. So does it mean when I open it up, I still see the color side on yes, the inside? Correct. The color side okay. should be open up. Yeah. Okay. So you do the same thing for the other side as well. So the end product will look something like this. Hold on. Uh. No problem. Take your time. I'm taking my own sweet time. No worries. <laughs> Okay, finally I get it. Okay, once it's done, the next step is to fold it into half. With upwards. the folded papers, yes, correct. Facing outwards. Okay. So once you have done that, you can actually see the ears are already showing. These are the two ears of the rabbit. These two, right? Yeah. Okay. So the next step we need to do is to make, make the rabbit fold outwards. So what you need to do is to grab one side of the ear, Twist it downwards so that it will become like so, 90 degrees downwards. Uh, which side do I do that? Yeah, you can take, take from this side. You can. Okay, yeah. so I just fold it out, right? Mm. Okay, this is actually one of the common mistakes that uh, people happen to do. It's not actually a fold, but actually you are, you are using the seam of this side to actually make it go downwards instead of making a fold. Oh, so I'm not making a 90 degrees fold? Yeah, no. Oh, okay. Correct, that's the, that's the right way to do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, do so, so I, I do get a 90 degrees on this side, yes. not on this side. Correct, okay. correct. Do the same thing for the other side. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay. So, it will look something like this, with the three edges. <laughs> no, I got problem again. Uh, it's normal okay. to have problem in, as a beginner. 
That's correct. Alright. Okay, so now we need to make the ears pop a little. So what we need to do is to fold down the ears which we have made previously. Like, like so. Following the lines of the edge so that you align it. Like. Then you can do the same thing for the other side. Okay. But I'm sure my rabbit ears looks more like horns. <laughs> later we can tweak it a little to make it more like a rabbit ear. So now you can see that the ears are actually very nicely done. You can hold the side of the you ears. Can say that again. <laughs> hold the side of the ears. Yes. Now we can make the face pop by putting your two fingers inside this center portion. Okay. Then open up your fingers. Open up. Yes. You should see the head okay. slightly bending down to form the, the head of the rabbit already. Yes, I can see that. So once you have done, you can see the, the rabbit is forming already. Mm -hmm. So the next step to do is actually proper the rabbit. So what you can do is you can actually open up the ears a little bit, fold it downwards to make it look less like a horn and more like a rabbit's ear. <laughs> like this. So you can see it's pointing downwards. Yeah, being sarcastic. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Then you can fold the face inward so that it does. It looks like it has it has teeth. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. So we can end it with building a, a beautiful tail over here. Fold the the end of it inwards. And to make it pop a little, you can fold it outwards, the small portion again. So it will look like it has a little cute little tail over here. So the next step we need to do is to open up the body so that it can actually stand on its own. I'm sure mine won't. I think mine has a big head. <laughs> it needs a lot of practice to be able to make it stand on its own. There you have it. This is one of the, the rabbit pieces that we have completed making. Okay, yeah. but mine can't stand. I'm sure you, once you have more practice, you'll be able to make it stand. So it takes time. Like, like what I mentioned, it takes a lot of patience to make it uh, beautiful. Thank you Shinigami for showing us how to create the simple origami rabbit. Viewers at home, for more information, you can visit our website at www.simplyartilicious.com.sg So, we have come to the end of our show. Stay tuned for another episode next week. See ya!